All right, in this video, we are going to install and set up Trade Explorer. So on the on our members area, you'll be able to download the files. It will kind of look like this. When you open the zip file, you'll see this. I highly recommend before you start, you read the manual thoroughly. This video is going to show you how to set it up, install it, but read the manual thoroughly. Read this document right here and then you can get started. So the this file right here, tradeexplorer.ex4 is gonna go, is the robot and Explorer Indy is the indicator that the robot uses. So without further ado, let me just show you the setup for it and then we'll go into that. So first, when you're in MetaTrader, you open it up, you go to tools, options, expert advisors, and make sure you have the checks exactly like this allow DLLs, allow automated trading and everything else unchecked and then click OK. Then go over here, market watch, right click, click show all. Some brokers use a pair suffix, some don't. What that means is there'll be some text next to the currency pair. So you have, for example, here USD CHF, you might have something like an X or something. So make sure if your broker requires that you use that specific pair because it's going to show both, but one won't work. So first we're going to have to now install Trade Explorer into MetaTrader. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna file, open data folder, then we're gonna click on MQL4. And then now we pull up the other folder and what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag Trade Explorer into the experts folder. And then you're gonna drag Explore Indie into the indicator folder. Looks like I already have it in there, but you won't, so you just put it in there. Then you're going to look at presets. We're going to take both these folders right here, lower risk settings and regular risk settings, and you're going to drag them right into here, into presets folder. Okay, so now once you've put the presets in there, you've done everything you needed to do to install the software. And then we're going to go back into the MetaTrader platform. But let me explain something really quick. So you have lower risk settings and regular risk settings. This is explained in the manual, but basically lower risk settings is going to have a lower drawdown. It's going to use less pairs. It's a little less riskier. You'd probably, you want to use that for prop firms or if you're a lower risk kind of trader, or if you're using a very small account, such as a thousand dollars or less, maybe even 3000 or less. The regular risk settings are if you want more profit and you don't mind a little more risk and you want to use a lot of pairs. So you'll have to decide that yourself and in the manual, it explains it in a little more detail. So now we don't need this anymore because we already transferred everything over. Next thing we're going to do, right click over here, navigator in a blank spot, click refresh. And what that's going to do is it's going to load the robot into the platform. So you click this plus sign next expert advisors and you're going to see trade explorer pop up. You're going to need to open up every single pair that you want to use. Each, each pair that you can use is listed in the manual. So you're going to have to select which ones you want. When you do select each one, you go over here to market watch, you right click, click chart window. And so, for example, I just did that for USD CAD and you see it could pop up right here. If you open up multiple one, multiple charts, you're going to see each one right here at the bottom and you can skip. You can go through each one. And then for Trade Explorer, you need to put it on the M5 time frame, which is right here at the top. Just click that and you do that for every single one. It always has to be on that like this. And then what you do is you can go over Trade Explorer. You can drag it over or you can double click it. Then you're going to go to common, make sure everything is checked like this. It should all be set already because it does it by default uh, based on that one step we did earlier with allowing DLLs and such. Then you go to inputs and here you're going to click load. All right. So then when you're, you're in the presets, you would find the pair right here, USD CAD, you double click it, and then it's going to load all the proper settings for that pair in here. Then you enter your receipt. This is the one that was given to you when you purchased and you have to actually activate it before you go to this step of installing in members area and your MT4 numbers will be right here at the top left. It's the login number for this platform. And you're going to use that to activate this robot in members area. And you put your seat here after loading it, you're going to select your lot size, which will be based on the, the manual gives you some recommendations such as 0 0.01 lots per $5,000 is usually recommended. So anything less than 5,000, you do 0 0.01. And then you can do 0 0.01 for every 5,000. Or, or you can increase it further than that if you're looking for higher risk. And then when you're done with that, you click OK. And the robot will show up with a happy face right there. Since I didn't put in a valid code, it's going to be removed. 
because I just put in a random receipt. And then you're going to go over here to automated trading and make sure it's pressed in and it's green. If not, the robot's not going to work. So make sure you do that first. And then there'll be a happy face and it'll say Trade Explorer right here. And if it says that, that means that the software is running. And you can also go to Experts tab and Journal tab and check for any errors to make sure nothing went wrong. For example, if you didn't put the indicator in the proper folder, then it's going to give you an error. So just make sure there's no errors in either of these. And that's it. You do that for every single pair that you want to trade and you'll be all set up and ready to go. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or post a comment below this video.